Oh, oh is that chocolate? Yes. Oh. A palette of gold, 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 gold. guys it's ruby and today we are staying at the cheapest room in the Wynn hotel and casino in las vegas we have booked a standard king room and i am pretty blown away let me show you guys around when april sprinkles her dreams in So when you book a standard room at the Wynn, all of them have been recently renovated. This king room feels huge and spacious. The decor feels incredibly high end. This is luxury. <laughs> Loving the design of the media council here. You got the TV up top. This drawer that holds the water glasses and the wine glasses is like a really nice extra touch. And the mini bar is down below. Unfortunately, there is no personal fridge. <laughs> We got a fantastic view. You can see the Lake of Dreams show and the palaces with their private pools, but you can also see a great view of the strip. We've got the Palazzo and the High Roller, the mountains, stunning. bathroom is where the robes are. I like the soaking tub. I also like where the water comes out. It's not like on one of the ends for you to lay out while the water fills the tub. Nice touch. And I love all the shelving and where they've got like outlets and things. They've definitely planned it out for you to like put your toiletries in here and get ready. It's just well designed. Believe it or not, we have never stayed in the wind tower before, which is kind of hard to believe. We've got dinner and drinks tonight, very excited, but right now, time to get changed and head down to the pool. Bubbles. is gorgeous and super relaxing. They play the music really quiet. The pool chairs are the plushiest in Vegas. The pool is kind of shaped with like two circular pools and they're connected by like a lap pool. So it's sort of shaped like a barbell. So a lot of place for people to spread out. You don't really feel too crowded. Absolutely a place to lounge and like be at peace here in Vegas. I go out and I look across the water. Just got back from the pool, such a nice pool area. They also have a European style pool, which is 21 and up and topless. They do not let you film in there, you creeps. But we came back feeling so relaxed. Honestly, I could take a nap right now, but there is a ton to show you guys still. We have some work to do. The newest thing coming to the win is the Awakening Theater and the brand new show Awakening. Awakening is going to take us on a journey with a heroine who is going to restore beauty and love to the world. The promo show acrobatics, puppetry, lights, dancing. It honestly looks like it's going to be really incredible. Awakening is premiering November 7th and I cannot wait to check it out when it does open. So the Wynn Casino itself is really beautiful. Very Steve Wynn aesthetic. Kind of like the Bellagio, only a little newer. And they have pretty much every game you could think to play as far as slot machines go between the Wynn and the Encore. 
table minimums I found between $25 and $50, which is kind of a lot for a weekday. So the Wynn Sportsbook I think is a little bit underrated. It's not really talked about. It's really nice, huge screens. There's Charlie's Bar and Grill next door that has really decent food. This is a pretty good place to do your sports betting and watch. So the win and the Encore have more Forbes five star awards than any other hotel and casino. And they actually made a record by being the only property to win a Forbes five star in both their hotel, spa, and their restaurant. I can't stress how big a deal that is considering what a huge property the win is. A lot of these high-end hotels are boutique and small. And honestly, it's kind of hard to believe how amazing it still looks considering it's not even like a brand new property. So location of the win is North Strip. You are right next to the Palazzo. The fashion show mall is across the street if you want some cheap eats, and Resorts World is a walk away. Honestly, this is a little oasis tucked away from all the craziness on the strip. It's a lot more quiet right here in front of the wind. Kind of a good escape. Sun is going down on the strip, getting later, and it's time for dinner. The wind is known for its incredible fine dining, and I know they are not going to disappoint. We are going to go to SW Steakhouse, and let me tell you, it sounds so good right now. Just got seated at SW Steakhouse. This is a Forbes four-star award-winning restaurant, so I'm expecting some really amazing food, honestly. Steak sounds incredible right now. So my server recommended a really wonderful red wine and we started with the Maryland Blue Crab Cake. Delicious. We both got a filet and some au gratin potatoes. This looks delicious. It cut like butter. It's got a gorgeous char. I'm gonna just try it out with no sauces and see how it is. That is an absolutely excellent piece of red meat. Holy cow. Finishing off the night with some cookie butter cheesecake and a double shot of espresso. Very happy right now. Wow, everybody should go eat at that restaurant. The char on that piece of meat and the way it was perfectly cooked all the way through, every bite was amazing. Finish off your steak with that cookie butter cheesecake. It should be illegal. It's time for some nightlife. Luckily, we don't have super far to go. We made it to Aft. You guys know that Aft replaced Carousel Down, which was one of my absolute favorite bars. Now, during the day, this was such a vibe with the umbrellas up and you could see the beautiful waterfall going down, but I will say, at night, I do think the umbrella stands block the view of the people in the back. Oh, is that chocolate? Yes. <gasps> okay, this is the Havana. This is the rum old fashioned for two. You're supposed to bite the passion fruit bonbon and then take a sip of the smoked old fashioned. Let's give this a go. Oh, that's fantastic. We are gonna enjoy our drinks here, watch a couple more of the shows, and then go relax in our amazing room, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. This morning we are gonna go get some breakfast. We are going to Jardin, and I have heard nothing but good things, so I'm really excited to go check it out. Got seated at Jardin. This is so beautiful. We actually asked to sit out on the patio, and you can see the pool and the garden. It looks like they have some Mexican things on the menu for breakfast, as well as pastries. We'll see what we decide. Ooh. <laughs> wow.
right, you guys. So a friend recommended we get the pancakes and I did not realize that they were gonna come with cotton candy that melted over the top. These are the red velvet chocolate chip pancakes. They look amazing. I got the huevos rotas. So there's serrano ham that smells incredible with an over easy egg and some potatoes. And Mr. Ruby got a very normal three egg breakfast. Looks delightful. Everything smells really good. I'm really excited to dig in. So these are the brand new renovated rooms and it's absolutely gorgeous. Whoever picked out the color palette did a great job. Our room for a random Tuesday night with everything all included, taxes, resort fees, was $220 on this night, which is a reasonable high-end price point. However, depending on what is happening in Vegas or a weekend, this room can be triple, quadruple that price. I, I just don't have really any negatives to say to you guys. This is a quiet oasis of a property. I think anyone who stays here will have a good stay. I definitely recommend it and I, I have no problem saying that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure you're subscribed. I'll catch you guys all in my next review.